So I just wanted to come on and start with, I haven't talked about sew-ins, so I just wanted to talk about sew-ins and I approve. I agree. I get it. <laughs> that's one, that's one thing that I said when I got this one, I was like, okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. I understand. <laughs> Welcome to the Proud and Curly podcast, the podcast all about celebrating naturally curly hair. I'm Sierra, your host and founder, also known as C. Johnson on YouTube and Instagram, and you, my girlfriend, are in the right place. Every week, you'll get new insight and curlspiration on how to manage and maintain your natural curls. It doesn't matter if your hair is a wavy 2A type, a kinky 4C texture, or if you're anywhere in between. After the episode, the conversation always continues on the Proud and Curly Instagram page, so be sure to follow us there. This episode of the Proud and Curly podcast is brought to you by Proud and Curly Share Your Story. If you're learning to embrace your natural hair, we want to hear about it. What's your hair story? This show is made up of beautiful hair journeys and lessons from people all around the world, but no story is exactly alike, so we want to hear yours. Tell us a story about a hair mishap, adventure, or you can share an inspiring message for everyone to hear. This is your time to share your story and be featured on this podcast. To learn how, go to proudandcurly.com slash pages slash share your story. Let's start the show. Hi guys, welcome back to the Proud and Curly podcast. Mm, 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 mm. I get so excited when I can finally do the podcast. I know it's been a little minute. I always say this and it's so embarrassing, but I have plans for you guys. I'm about to be working for you guys. I'm about to be out here. Y'all about to get this content. Get ready. Especially 2020, January. We gotta, we gotta come back. Like I've been gone for so many times. So just stay tuned. I'm going to be announcing something soon, but it's really just more content for you guys. So just get ready. Just, you know, go ahead and subscribe and, you know, clear some space out on your phone because we're going to be uploading podcasts okay so today I'm coming on here looking quite different if you are with us watching on YouTube we have the video experience on YouTube so be sure to check us out at Proud and Curly on YouTube all of the episodes are there and um yeah sometimes you just want to see what people are talking about see what kind of curly hair they have see what I'm looking like you know <laughs> just kidding just see you know and then today I'm talking about my hair so it's kind of helpful if you're seeing it but if you're not seeing it today we're going to be talking about sew-ins I have my first sew-in ever in my head and I curled it today so it's cute because I want like this cute little like curly bob look but really it's like body wave hair so it's like a break from my hair that's the whole goal of this this hair is to give me a little break and I got a little closure going on hopefully it looks all right you guys I haven't done this closure and like baby hair and like blending thing for a while I used to wear wigs a lot kind of a lot but I haven't really worn wigs in a long time oh my god I just feel good talking to you guys so today I'm going to be talking about this sew-in and my thoughts on sew-ins in general since this is my first one just a little bit of a review you know like I'm really surprised like as soon as I got in my hair like I never knew how I would look with the sew-in in high school I had bad experiences of people like looking very bad with the sew-in and then I never like thought I would want a closure kind of deal like I didn't really fix this closure up so it probably could have some work done to it but I feel like it's fine like it's fine as far as like just a natural thing and my head's kind of big so I don't know if we can make it any flatter than it is <laughs> my head's big you know that's just my head but um so I was always just like on the edge of getting a sew in like in high school is when it was really big to me, I know people still get sew-ins a lot, but since I went natural, like, I never really thought about getting a sew-in. I just thought about wearing wigs because I can just take it off and be, like, with my hair. I don't know how to braid my hair down, so I could just put my hair in a bun under a wig. So that was a part of, like, why I never had a sew-in. I just did not think it would look good on me. I knew that my hair, as far as leave out, would not work out, especially in high school. I got micro links and I had that leave out and I was trying to blend my hair, straightening my hair so much to blend it 
with the straight micro links um and if you guys want to see the videos that i'll be talking about like with my hair like what i used to do to my hair and any videos about micro links go to proud and curly's youtube channel because i'm actually posting all of my videos from my old youtube channel well my youtube channel c johnson or i used to post like videos about my hair i'm going to be posting like my top videos on proud and curly only and C. Johnson is all about that vegan life right now. Like, I am chefing it up over there. So, if you guys are interested in, like, healthy um, cooking, lifestyle, veganism, what that even is, like, how to cook that, and how do I even eat. I've been vegan for um, coming up on three years in March. So, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> but, um, I'm, I'm loving it. It's, I'm, I get to be so creative when I cook and it's really fun and so delicious so good like i don't i don't have stomach aches after i eat unless i like of course eat too much or like eat something very very greasy but like y'all i made mac and cheese for thanksgiving sorry this video is gonna be a little a little chatty but i made mac and cheese we haven't talked in a while it's got to be a little chatty so i, I made mac and cheese <laughs> y'all Y'all, just, if you, I just don't, I don't know what to say, like, I have been scared to make mac and cheese the whole time I've been vegan. That's the only thing that I'm like, okay, now if I can't find a good mac and cheese recipe, like, if I can't make mac and cheese, then I don't know about this. Like, I'm not sure if I could do it. So I've been distracting myself for like two and a half years. And, th and last last year Thanksgiving, I did try to make mac and cheese. Someone write about it. It wasn't it. Mm -mm. Would never try that recipe again. But this year, y'all, I've been like searching low key, following other vegan chefs and stuff. And this girl, Sweet Greens Vegan, I'm just going to shout her out. We're doing a little blurb about veganism. I'm sorry. But, <sighs> yo. The mac and cheese is banging. So if you guys are interested in that, I would welcome you over to my YouTube channel, C. Johnson. And I will be sharing all kinds of like um, recipes for the holidays. I'm calling it Veganmas instead of Vlogmas. So, you know, check me out over there sometimes, you know. I'll be over there too. And I'll be over here. And I'll be just doing the most. So, <laughs> just, you know, give me a little support. Just, just give me a little watch, a little like. A little subscribe over there too. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Girl, I'd be, be tired. Okay, anyways. That being said, I got to sew in last week before Thanksgiving. Yes, this video is timely. This might be the only super timely video. Um, but I got this sewing done. And I have been loving it, loving it, loving it. When she finished sewing it up and curling me up. And I turned around. I said, oh, we should have been done this. <laughs> I was like, oh, um, why didn't I do this like five years ago? I could have just been done. Like, I could have just ready to wake up, ready to go. And the hair was curly. Girl, the curls lasted for like three days four days i did not do anything she was like flexi wrap the top and wrap up the bottom and put it in um a bonnet all i did was wrap it up and put it in a bonnet this closure was fine i didn't flexi ride nothing until today i curled it so <laughs> i'm gonna probably try to flexi ride it just because i like the curly look but i wanted to see it straight you know i wanted to see it long and straight and it was cute okay so, you know, I don't know. I used to look down upon so on. So, ugh. I used to kind of like look down upon so ends because sometimes I feel like people try to hide their hair, but I really think this is a good protective style because none of my hair is out besides these edges right here, which will curl up on you or curl up on me. They curl up like crazy. I just laid them down, so that's why they're behaving. But um, other than that, I don't have to worry about my hair. Now, there is one large con that I don't know if this is a normal thing or if everybody has to go through this or like what? 
but yo my scalp was like oh uh uh my scalp's already itchy when I get regular braids but now that I have the sew in every sing every night it's been getting better now but like every night I'll get just itchy just scratching just scratch just scratch everywhere scratching scratching like everywhere just scratching under here scratching under here and I'm like is this worth it <laughs> like, is, is this gonna stop Y'all, it's been very itchy, and I, I don't understand, like, I don't know if that's just me. I don't know if you guys have heard Corey's episode, and she talks about being relaxed and still, um, in, oh, <laughs> what number episode is she? Okay, Jazzy Loves, it's playing her video right now. Check out Jazzy. I'm up here trying to plug some other episodes, and then Jazzy just comes up like, what about me though? Have you guys seen Jazzy's episode? Definitely check her video out as well and her Instagram. She's always doing so many cool like hair tutorials on YouTube. Okay, sorry. Anyways, I'm up here trying to find Corey. K Nicole, I am K Nicole. Y'all, my phone. I'm not in Instagram right now. Jazzy is. Cause you're not happy about. Okay. <laughs> what just happened? Okay. Episode number five. If you guys have not heard episode number five, how to love what you got, even if you still have a relaxer with Kay Nicole, definitely go listen to that because in that episode, that's where I also was like, okay, I don't think I should get a sew-in because she was like, yeah, I would get sew-ins and I'll have my mom. Like her mom is a beautician. Her mom's a beautician and her mom actually did my sewing. Her hair company and I'll put her a link to her Instagram and her website down below. But her company is called Bella Indie Hair, Bella Indie Beauty on Instagram. And this is her hair that I'm wearing is so soft. It's really soft. Like my wigs don't be this soft. <laughs> oh, when I first got it, I was like, oh, now this is soft. <laughs> like I know my wig's a little old, but like, I'm missing out over here. Um, and she also did the install. And if you follow her on Instagram and you live in the Atlanta area or really um, near, um, what's this called area? Like Atlanta, Buckhead, Norcross area. Um, her shop is in Lilburn. But if you are looking for some hair and some deals she always puts deals on her instagram so be sure to follow her on instagram um because this was like a deal right before um thanksgiving they were having like a black early black friday deal so it was super inexpensive it was like a free install all i had to pay for was the hair and yeah she braided me up i came washed and blow dried and now i'm ready to go and then she's talking about Oh, you can wear this for, um, oh, sorry. I'm all over the place. But anyways, her mom does hair. And so I had to do a little plug, you know. I had to do a little plug, you know, support. But um, her mom does hair. And in episode five, she was talking about how her mom would do her hair in the past. And, like, one of Corey's first sew-ins, she would be like, uh-uh, I gotta take this out. Like, literally the same night, she would be like, I would have my mom cut the hair out like cut the sewing out because my scalp was just so itchy and I was like and so like right before literally on Wednesday I think I made the appointment I was like does she have any spots and she was like oh you're trying to get a sewing and I'm like yeah but I'm scared because you said like you had to take it out the same day and like I don't know like is that gonna happen to me and she was like oh no like I'm good now like I don't have that problem anymore I don't know what was going on my scalp was just super itchy and I was like oh so I should be all right and she was like yeah and so I got it and everything was fine when I got it I'm just naturally I know when I get braids like corn rolls my scalp itches it just it does my hair is like pulled apart there's parts of it that are like exposed longer than usual my hair likes to be free it likes to just curl up and do things and frizz up and stuff so it was like oh wait a minute <laughs> I'm not getting my moisture from my hair um oh uh uh we gonna need some so my scalp's been a little itchy but oh, and I didn't bring it down here 
I'm going to bring down something that's been very, 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 very helpful. And this is not sponsored at all, but whew, their, their products are really good. And I tried their products before this particular product before I even ever had a sew in. And I think I had crochet braids and I use them. Um, and it's, it's like a, a hair product that's good for, um, <clears throat> that's good for protective styling and it's called girl and hair or girl plus hair and I'll show you the products that I have um, but they have this um, it's like this oil and that's what I've been using like the first day and or two the first two days I had to use that and it really really helped calm down my scalp but I stopped using it so much and just I've just been like kind of trying to massage my scalp because I know that that's still in there I made the hair so oily so I went ahead and washed the hair um, over the weekend and and then I, I let it just kind of dry naturally and it got straight straighter because I didn't curl it or anything or put any um, flexi rods or anything in it so now I just curled it and the hair is still pretty good y'all so yeah that's pretty much the tea on this sew-in y'all are going to see this sew-in for a while oh that's what I was saying y'all are going to see this sew-in for a while because when I was leaving she was like yeah and you probably could take it out in like six to eight weeks or something like that and I was like eight weeks <laughs> two months you tell me the end of January? Oh! Because <laughs> I literally <laughs> I literally just went into this like I just need a break. I just need a break for my hair. Like I'm about to do some stuff to my hair and I'm not ready. So I just need a break. And um, here we go. Two months. And the cool thing about sew-ins is that you can keep the hair and put it back in. I don't know if I'll put it back in right after. I'll probably give myself some time, give myself a break. But I really like this hair, and I could put it back in. I could dye it. I could um, cut it. So that's one thing. If I don't cut it, then it'll still be like fresh the next time I use it. But we'll see. You guys will see clearly. But I'm about to record a lot of episodes, so it might just look like this for a while. But you know, at least I have content. <laughs> at least we're consistent. And it's, I have some really cool ideas, so. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, let me know what you guys think about sew-ins. If you're on YouTube, comment down below. If you're listening on a podcast app, uh, let us know on Instagram at us let us know in your stories comment on one of our photos message us i don't know engage with us talk to us <laughs> so yeah see i'm itching that's all right it's getting better <laughs> if it's if it's bad y'all this thing might just come out because hmm. if anything else starts going on with with my scalp if anything drastically different happens i'll let you guys know on instagram at proud and curly so be sure to follow us on there i'm feeling it right now and it is a great break and a great protective style because i have braids in of course i mean anything of too much like if i had this in too long it wouldn't be so good to my hair and having something like the girl in hair products where i can still get into my scalp um moisturize my scalp since it is extra dry now but i think it's just also just itchy but i can get in there with those products that is so helpful and um also the girl in hair products has shampoo conditioner leave-in conditioner and the oil serum kind of thing that is um thick it kind of stays on your scalp so it's not going to be running all through your hair but i put a I about put half the bottle on there because I was my hair was so itchy and it helps a lot. Oh, and one thing I really like about the shampoo is that it has um, has like a peppermint kind of like cooling sensation like ingredient in there. When I was younger and I used to get my hair done and I used to have a really itchy scalp when I got a perm. Um, I used to get this like 
it was like this cooling shampoo I have no idea what it was called but he would put this cooling shampoo in my hair and it would feel so much better when it's itchy so I can't wait until I actually wash my scalp with this in because she was like yeah go ahead and wash the whole thing wash your hair like wash your scalp and I was like okay I have just the thing for that I have what I need and so I'm excited to use that because I know that'll help with the itchiness because it has that cooling effect so check out girl and hair products I'll link some down below um, in the show notes so if you guys want to check that out I'll link some to Amazon or something like that um, but yeah I'm really excited about this sewing and you guys are gonna be seeing it a lot so I just wanted to come on and start with I haven't talked about sew-ins, so I just wanted to talk about sew-ins, and I approve. I agree. I get it. <laughs> that's one. That's one thing that I said when I got this one. I was like, okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. I understand. <laughs> and she was like, yeah. Corey was like, yeah. You joined the party. You joined the fam. I was like, okay. Might be coming back. <laughs> About two months. Might let my hair out for a week and come back. Like. I just I just want to put my hair away for some time um, my hair has just been like and it's the winter time like you have to be extra like putting extra moisture in your hair because it's colder outside so you just need to protect your scalp more so I feel like this is a perfect time for me to have a sew in it's cold like I don't really want my hair to be out because if I'm doing like a wash and go and it's like wet and then I'm going out and it's cold then I'm just like ooh. <laughs> you know like I'm just like ooh, let me just not like let me not do that I would recommend it to you guys to try if you haven't tried a sew-in. Let me know down below in the comments, like I said, what you think of sew-ins. And if you don't recommend them, let me know. I don't know, girl. This is my first time. Give me some. Let me know. You guys might have experiences that I would know about. So let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next Thursday. We're on Thursday now. We're uploading on Thursdays. Soon that will... I'll update that it'll soon change a little bit but we're uploading this month on Thursday so catch you guys next Thursday with another episode actually an interview which I'm really excited about it turned out really good and I can't wait for you guys to hear it so I'll see you guys next Thursday bye all right that's it for today's episode thank you so much for listening to the proud and curly podcast if you like the podcast please show your support by leaving a rating on the apple podcast app it helps me so much and it also helps other people find the show special thanks to terrence esquire huggins for producing the music in this podcast you can always check out his website soundcloud and follow him on social media at esquire music 111 all of his links are in the show notes if you're looking for more curly content be sure to follow us on Instagram. But until next week, stay proud and curly.